Whoa, this thing is huge. I think it's very hard to imagine having a glass table, especially a glass table this large, back at home. But these weren't made for your home or my home. These were made for kings and princes, and they would be put in vast palaces, probably alongside chandeliers and other very large and very prominent furnishings. It must weigh a ton. How come it doesn't come crashing down? Hiding inside the legs and across the bottom of the table are metal rods which support the weight of the table top, which is a massive piece of marble, and all of the glass, which weighs a very great deal. The first large glass furniture was made so it could go on display and be sold at a place like the 1878 World's Fair in Paris. This table was made by a French company called Baccarat, which is still in business today. There's barely any room to eat dinner on it. Why is that giant boat with the gold angel sitting right in the middle of the table? Maybe they used it for a party punch bowl. I don't know that it is a punch bowl. I think it's a piece of elaborate, large, over-the-top decoration. Just like companies advertise today to get you to buy the latest toys, clothes, or games, glassmakers at the World's Fair in Paris were also advertising to a very particular market. When wealthy princes from the Middle East and India took one look at all the beautifully cut and polished glass, they went crazy for it. Can you imagine how much furniture it took to fill up a 127-room palace? That's a lot of glass.